Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain classification of maxillary impacted third molar teeth. Archer classify uh, maxillary impacted third molar teeth according to the angle of impaction with second molar and the depth of in impaction. As we discuss winter classification for mandibular teeth, uh, here the angle of impaction with second molar uh, also give the similar uh, picture of classification. That is a, a mesioangular, distoangular, vertical, horizontal, transverse, buccoangular, or uh, linguangular, and inverted. Uh, so here you can see uh, a mesioangular impaction in one. In the picture two, it says a distoangular, and uh, here is a vertical impaction and in four is the horizontal impaction. Here you can see a, a lingo version or this the crown is uh, clearly visible in this uh, diagram and so this is a this crown is towards the palatal side you can say a palato version a lingo version a palato angular or lingo angular. Uh, we have discussed in detail how you can appreciate uh, that whether it is a lingo version or poco version on a conventional radiography. Uh, uh, for other reason, you can uh, uh, do a perpendicular uh, radiograph, uh, occlusal perpendicular radiograph or CBCT to exactly know whether it is a, a palato angular or Bucco angular. Uh, this is a bucco angular. You can see the roots and crowned not, not visible. Uh, again, you can uh, see our video for uh, mandibular teeth uh, to appreciate the bucco version. In seven, uh, this is inverted and it is, it is towards the distal side, but in opposite direction. So this is called a inverted. Vertical impaction is the most common impaction uh, that accounts for the 63% of the impaction. And mandibular impaction, the most common is the mesioangular. But here it is a vertical. Uh, distroangular uh, is, uh, uh, is second most common that accounts for 25%. Mesioangular accounts for 12%. And the rest, the transverse inverted or horizontal in position, they are rarely seen and they account less than 1%. Here you can see a vertical impaction that is 63% uh, most commonly seen. Distoangular accounts for 25%, and similarly, is mesioangular accounts for 12%. Now, second factor of the classification is the depth of impaction. This, was, this is also similar to the Pell and Gregory uh, depth um, as we discussed with the mandibular classification uh, of impacted teeth. Uh, that is a class one. Here you can see in this picture, the occlusal surface are the highest point of the impacted third molar, maxillary third molar is approximately at the level of the occlusal surface of the second molar. Here you can see the highest point occlusal surface of the impacted tooth is uh, at the middle of the crown of the second molar. It is in between the cervical line and the occlusal surface of the second molar. Now see, uh, you can see the occlusal surface or the highest point of the crown of the impacted maxillary third molar is, is uh, deep to the, you can say, uh, below or, or deep to the deep to the cervical line of the second molar. Below the cervical line of the second molar, but as it is a maxillary, uh, you can say up, up or above, uh, that, that, that will be wrong. So you will see that is, it is the highest point of the maxillary third molar is deep to the cervical line of the second molar. Now, Class one is, uh, sorry, class class A is when 
occlusal level of the impacted third molar is at the level of the uh, uh, occlusal level of the third molar is at the level of the second molar. Uh, here, the highest point or occlusal level is in the middle of the uh, crown of the second molar or in between the cervical line and the occlusal, uh, uh, occlusal surface. And here it is below, or you can see deep to the uh, deep to the cervical line, as we discussed in in previous slide. Now these two, these two are touching the roots. Here, uh, this one is touching the root, and it, it is even uh, deeper to the uh, diagram shown in D. So the, the, these are also classified as a class C uh, classification. So this is whole uh, classification. That is a class A. You can see in picture one, class A. This is class B. And uh, in uh, picture C, D, and E, these are class C. Now, class C uh, is the most uh, difficult uh, to extract. Why? Why there are three factors. Uh, number one is the more amount of a bone have to be removed. Here you can see more amount of the bone have to be removed. Se uh, second is excess is difficult. You can see here that the ex it is deep, therefore excess uh, is difficult due to the also number of factors. One is due to the second erupted second molar and it is deep, so excess is difficult. And the third most important point is that it is closer to the maxillary sinus. Here you can see closer to the maxillary sinus. So here complications of the maxillary sinus can occur or the tooth can be dislodged into the maxillary sinus. Here you can see maxillary third molar with deep, complete bony impaction. Uh, and there is their removal is difficult because of the closeness with the maxillary sinus and uh, uh, insufficient visualization excesses uh, difficult and more bone will be have to be removed to extract the tooth. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.